Welcome back to Security Simplified. Last time, we talked about open redirect vulnerabilities and how they can allow attackers to steal tokens from OAuth systems. Today, let's take a deeper dive into open redirects and explore how you can prevent them in your applications. Sites often have HTTP parameters or URL parameters that cause the web application to redirect to another URL without any user action. Open redirects are a type of vulnerability that happens when an attacker can manipulate the value of this parameter and cause users to be redirected off-site. A common scenario is when a website redirects users to their original location after login. When a user visits their dashboard at slash dashboard but is not logged in, the application redirects them to the login page. Then, it will redirect the user to their dashboard located at slash da dashboard after the user logs in. Notice here that the site is using a URI parameter to determine the location to redirect the user. During an open redirect attack, users are unintentionally redirected to an external site. Attackers can provide the victim with a login URL that specifies a redirect URL to a malicious site and redirect the user elsewhere. This will enable attackers to pretend that they are the legitimate site and trick users into entering their credentials or downloading malware. In an OAuth system, this might even allow attackers to steal access tokens and take over user accounts. So what can you do to prevent open redirects in your application? Open redirects happen when an application uses user input to determine the location of a redirect that and does not validate the input properly. So the first thing you can do is to simply avoid redirecting users using user input. If that's not possible, do not use user input to redirect users directly. You can have the user provide a partial URL instead which can then be mapped to a full URL on the server site. This way, you can ensure that whatever user input the user provided, they will not be redirected off-site. And if your application requires redirection to an outside location, you can force all redirects to first go through a page notifying the user that they are leaving your site and have users confirm that they are aware of the redirect. And finally, if those options are not possible, you should validate the user supplied input that is used for redirects. You could check the URL against a whitelist of hosts and trusted URLs and reject anything that does not belong to these locations. And URL parsing and validation is hard to do right. So when validating URLs, you should use a tried and tested library for URL parsing instead of using your own parsers. We'll talk more about this issue in a future lesson. So that's it for today's security lesson. Next time, let's talk about why open redirects are still very commonly found in real life applications and why it's so hard to implement proper URL validation. See you next time.